here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 5. And yeah, last episode felt more like a calm before the storm type episode, I would say, because we had Gabi and Falcon's other kids having a great time on the festival, eating a lot of junk food, basically, and all that jazz. So they had a great time, which is too much happiness on Attack on Titan, I would say. And then we had, like, the head of the Tibber family, I think it's pronounced, um, which I think they call him Willy, uh, the head of the family. Um, he said to the other, like, heads of other countries, nations, that he has a solution for the Eldians, because Eldians are, like, Titans, obviously, and were the cause of, like, a lot of death and destruction, so they are a thorn in the eyes of many people, I guess. And he has a solution that he wants to reveal. And then we had at the end Falco leading Reiner to Aaron in the basement. So I guess that will be very interesting to see what happens now because so far Aaron didn't talk much. He only talked with Falco basically. And he didn't really specify anything or mention anything of interest, I would say, that could reveal what his plan is. So very interesting now to see what happens. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would appreciate it. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Maybe because he just wanted to let someone know his story, basically. Oh, here we go. He is in shock. He's like, what the fuck is Aaron doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to Declaration of war. Here we go. Oh, the reveal. I said last episode, maybe the reveal has something to do with Aaron? That would be very interesting. And he's sweating. I'm very inter interested what his solution is. Have a seat. <laughs> Let's talk. Oh, he's bleeding. Is he getting ready to transform? Is it like a threat, like sit down or I transform and then many people will die? Oh boy, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> right, I'm shitting his pants right now. Yeah, I guess it was like intimidation, like do what I say or I transform and many people will die. People from your country that you want to protect. <laughs> And the anticipation what's going to happen. <laughs> Annie. Oh. Oh, is this her father? Oh, the, the solution is maybe to go to the Paradise Island and, and attack a final time. I guess this is a big deal if the head of the, pr pretty much a country. Does something like this. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Who's this? Blonde hair? You can't see the face? Maybe Armin? <laughs> it's suspicious if they hide the face, right? And I think we don't know anything, anyone else from... Paradise Island from the previous season that has blonde hair other than Armin. <clears throat> and that is somewhat young. <laughs> Dude, he is done. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> 
しばらくしましょう。今からおよそ百年前、エルディア帝国は巨人の力で世界を支配していました。原生の人類が3度絶滅しても足りないほどの命が巨人に奪われたとされています。Wait, did he say the population of the whole world? Really? They really want to show it dark. Why are they all blindfolded? Yeah, we know that I think somewhat. Because he had the founding Titan. Yeah, he really wants to stir the pot, I think. Make it sound like that the people on Paradise Island are still a big threat. That's what they told them. I mean, if it's Armin, she saw him. <clears throat> I guess. What's <laughs> Was the one dude here on the right with the glasses? Was he like, no, why didn't she hug me? <laughs> oh, are they in the towers? And shooting? Oh! Can't they just transform and come out? Let me let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. I I feel like I missed something maybe because I was a bit distracted. Now I got it all. Yeah. <laughs> he gets it. Oh, Falco gets it. Well, what does it say? Brought with him one prisoner who had inherited inherited the Jotite. Yeah, okay, that's basically what we know. Oh my God, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> Halfway through. Let me go. Oh, man, I'm 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 so hyped. I'm missing stuff. I don't pay full attention. Oh, so it's all a lie? Oh, the one they said got like pretty much like got rid of. That he goes to Paradise Island. So they exiled themselves basically. <laughs> the plot is complete. It's all a lie basically. If that's true. ミズカラの思想を引き継がせるため、よりカールフリッツの思想は代々受け継がれ。今日まで島から巨人が攻めてくることはなかったので、世界を守っていたのは我々が忌むべき壁の王だと思っていたカールフリッツの平和を願う。
Because now all the truth comes to light. Holy Helios. Oh. Broken arm, broken leg. Oh, because they have to heal, they can transform. Oh my god, I didn't thought about it. On Paradise Island. Millions. Grisha Jaeger. Oh! I mean, it was Grisha who started it, but Eren takes it further. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh. I guess shit goes down from here, bro. <laughs> the rumbling? But Eren Yeager is not the royal family. <laughs> and Aaron has wrath in him. You fucked with the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, perspective. They took away a lot from him. Just because they wanted the founding titan back. <clears throat> and why? He indeed said that. <laughs> Man, his eyes are so dead. Oh. Yeah, what is Aaron's plan? We don't know if he's like really out for revenge or not. But they have experienced the same shit, basically. <laughs> He is like, his mind is fucked. I guess he feels guilt too. Yeah, there's so much stuff that happened for Reiner too. Yeah, he wanted to kill him already with a gun, but then he was like, no, there are still the kids. And fight the aliens on Paradise Island. Oh, they come for Aaron. Oh my god! Here he goes. He's like, yeah, fuck that. But hey, Paradise Island came to them, so they don't have to go to Paradise Island anymore. <laughs> and they're like, oh shit, dude, this must be so crazy. Is he dead? <laughs> Completely destroyed. But he can transform maybe. No, he can't because his bones are broken, right? Oh! 
Oh my god. <laughs> this episode was crazy, man. The build up. The build up, the build up, the build up. <laughs> um Yeah, where to start? Uh uh Let's start with the end, like how Reiner is like pretty much confessing, like Aaron is asking him why did you do it, everything, and Reiner is basically confessing that it's like it was all my fault. I they wanted to go back, but I wanted to, to keep going. I wanted to be respected, I wanted to be a hero. And I guess Aaron is like, yeah, we are the same, right? Others maybe say, you don't have to do this. But Aaron is like, I, I, I mean, maybe they don't say that to Aaron, but he's like, he wants to keep pushing, right? He wants to keep going and wants to exterminate all his enemies until no one is there that can threaten them again. Um, and so in that regard, I think it's what Aaron means that he's the same, that he wants to keep pushing. Even if there are maybe people that would say you don't have to do it or want to, to hold him back, he just wants to keep going, moving forward. <clears throat> and he's just not giving a fuck anymore. <laughs> oh, and then, like, the whole reveal, that this whole thing with the Marlanes and King Fritz is, like, completely false, and basically it's, like, a 180-degree turn that King Fritz was a good guy and just, like, did, like, he basically exiled himself and just pretended to be dead and killed so that they can be the bad aliens while there are the good aliens um, to give, like, the people on Malane and the rest, like, basically hope, like a common enemy, right? <clears throat> so that they could unite and not, so that not all aliens have to be feared and basically be seen as the bad guys. But, I mean, they still are basically, like, seen as the bad guys even now. Um, and I thought maybe that it would come to the conclusion that Willie is like, yeah, here, the, these are not the bad guys, so we don't have to go after them, right? So Eldians are not bad. But, yeah, he does it, he turns it all around and it's like, yeah, but King Fritz is dead now. Now we have Aaron Yeager, who has a founding titan, and he isn't bound by the promise that the king can't go against Malane. So Aaron is not bound by any promise, so he can go all out and can, can come after us and kill us. So he's the threat. He has to be killed. And so he wants to turn this whole thing around and is basically the goal is still the same. Just that he now combines all the countries basically and says we have one common enemy and the enemy is real and the enemy comes after us and kills us. So that everyone is like, okay, we have to unite to go against this one enemy. The single enemy that is like the cause for all the, the problems. Because before it was like, aliens are bad, but Malane has control over them, so they are the bad guys. Right, and now it's like, no, it's not, they are only like the small part, the small problem. The big problem is Paradise Island. Um, and, yeah, it's just completely crazy. And the, the whole thing that, I guess it was Armin, the soldier that led Peek and Porky away and, like, got them down the trapdoor and broke their legs, basically, an arm, so that they can't transform into Titans because they have to regenerate their broken bones first. And so I, I'm a bit confused now because um, when Aaron transformed, he completely demolished Willy. I know from the trailer from I don't know how long ago, one year, two years, three years, I don't know, the first trailer of Attack on Titan Season 4. Um, I know we saw the Warhammer Titan in the trailer. And I guess, oh yeah! Uh, yeah, maybe not, because I would say now, if Willy is a Warhammer Titan, he shouldn't be able to, to transform because his bones and everything is completely crushed. But what we know from episode 4, 4, is that we don't know who of the Tipper family has a Warhammer Titan. Um, not even this one commander, general, sergeant, whatever... Mageth or whatever his name is, I think not even he knew who, the, who has the Warhammer Titan of the family. So, it, it maybe is not Willy, because otherwise, how can he transform if his complete body is destroyed? So I guess someone else is a Warhammer Titan, transform into the Warhammer Titan, and then we fight the Warhammer Titan, I guess. Would be my guess, because I don't think that someone, if Willy has it, I don't think that someone can go to Willy, eat him really quick or some shit, and get the Warhammer Titan immediately, right? So someone else must have it, right? Is my guess now. Um, but man, 
dope episode. Completely crazy. The whole build up and turn around um, and everything. It's just crazy. Also something I think might not be necessarily true is that one million titans got used to build the wall. I mean, we know that the wall is big, but is it three million titans big? If yes, that would be dangerous. Which makes me, which makes me wonder, because I mean, I know of the rumbling, right? If the rumbling happens, does Eren basically summon new colossal titans? Or are the colossal titans all from the island and break out of the wall? Because if they are all from the wall and break out, and that's the colossal titan that come with the rumbling, they have a long way to walk, right? <laughs> and then the complete wall is gone and everyone on the island gets basically destroyed. Except if he uses the rumbling and by that also, like, controls all the other titans so that they wouldn't attack the people that live inside the wall, right? I guess we will find out. I mean, I just know that the rumbling happens and how it looks with all the colossal titans and that shit. But I don't know what happens, how it happens, like where the titans come from, everything. I don't know that stuff. So it's still like interesting to see how that all happens. It's just like, if the if those colossal titans are not from the wall, then I wonder where they come from. Like out of the ground? Like some plants? <laughs> um, but yeah, crazy episode, man. I, I Man, this was so hype. I can't wait to see what happens next. I guess we, I mean... We know now that they are like Mikasa and the other ones probably. I guess, like I said, the one guy was probably Armin. And so the others are probably ready to start the action to attack, basically, I guess. And I guess we will see the Warhammer Titan and have to fight him now. Because I don't think that if there's a Warhammer Titan, that the Warhammer Titan just sits there and does nothing, right? And then I guess... Porky and Peak will heal, and then they will start attacking too. Oh my god, I guess shit is gonna go down now, like, hella down. Uh, yeah, I mean, who, which other Titans are there? So we have the Cut Titan, the Jaw Titan, the Attack Titan, the Warhammer Titan, the Colossal Titan with Armin, Founding Titan and Eren also, um... Female Titan is gone, is probably still on Paradise Island, or maybe they took her with her, maybe. Maybe or maybe female Titan is also here. Which other Titans? We have Armor Titan, we don't know what happens to Reiner now. I guess that if Reiner was there, then he has probably some broken bones now, because he got probably fucked up from Eren transforming. So he's either dead, which I don't think, or he has to regenerate, I guess. And the uh, Zeke, the uh, Beast Titan. So all the Titans are at that location maybe, except maybe it's a female titan. But like two are in Eren, and then there's just Beast Titan, Warhammer Titan, Jaw Titan, which takes some time to regenerate, Car Titan, which takes some time to regenerate. Man, this will be crazy. Shit's about to go down. But yeah, um, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.